All right, guys, welcome in. We've got the New Hampshire State Finals going on here on Backhand Pinball on Twitch at Port City Pinball in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. My name is Will Parks. I did not play well enough this year to qualify, so I am just hanging out and watching these games. Uh, you guys have kind of a head start on me. I just sat down. So let's see here. Yeah, we've got uh, Jill Town up against uh, Cody Gamash. Um, so, yeah, obviously we've got uh, Atlantis picked here. And Jill on ball three, 22,590. All right, just catching up. So uh, Jill is playing first. Uh, Cody's going to be up next. Uh, we've got a real battle of New Hampshire's, you know, some of New Hampshire's best. I mean, all day today. But these two in particular uh, play so much in New Hampshire and are really representing the state really well. Playing super hot coming into the finals right now. Um, if you guys haven't played Atlantis, your main goal is hitting down uh, pairs of blue and white drop targets on the left at the same time. That's worth 5,000. Um, hitting your lights is also good, advances you a little bit, um, but getting those pairs for 5,000 is what you really want to do. All right. Oh, good. Yeah, check and chat. People are responding. Great. Means I hit the right buttons and the microphone's working. Perfect. All right. Ooh. And it is tough getting over to that left there. Um, you can, with a good enough knock, time perfectly, knock it out of there. But I've Cody's the only person I've actually seen pull that off personally. Um, just sails into the left, and with just the perfect forward nudge, you can get it out of there. But usually, you're not getting out once you're in. 
So, got Cody stepping up. 39-220 is the score to beat. Uh, Cody is a uh, quiet but incredibly skilled player. Um, I play with him a lot uh, in Nashua at Southern New Hampshire Pinball Club. Um, and I know I've beaten him once or twice, but, I, uh, man, it does not happen often. He's got to be playing real bad for that to happen. So, uh, yeah, both these players extremely scary to be up against. Let's see. Okay. Just trying to get control, go for some drops. And the problem you find yourself in a lot of the time on this game is once you're down to just a couple drops. Uh, Cody keeping it out of danger there. Very good nudging. Because um, you've got to get those last couple down to reset and really have a chance at some more points. Yeah, appreciate you guys coming out and chat here. Yeah. Yeah, Cody's a lot of fun to play against. Very, very friendly, too. Both of these uh, players are really fun to be in a group with. Um, you know, happy to give tips and all that kind of stuff. Cody loves kind of getting into the rules of a game. Um, you know, he'll just dig in and stay on one game for a few hours at the club and then walk away with two or three of the high scores. Ooh, very nice dig there. And those rollover buttons, they will cycle whether those stand-up targets on the right will be lit to give you progress on your numbers. Uh, it's nice to have them on, but it just doesn't stay on for very long, usually. Getting it through the waterfall. And surviving. So... Go. Yeah, we're through two balls. Cody's in pretty good shape here, but uh, still has a little ways to go for sure. About 13k to go. Back through that waterfall. Always good. Ooh! But that is how it goes on Atlantis sometimes. Can feel like it's within reach, and then suddenly you get a house ball. I mean, really, any EM, obviously, that can happen to you. Ooh, Cody's feeling it. He knows, okay, like it was within reach, and now it's just kind of slipping away a little bit. So he's going to have to just kind of focus up, get some work done, and he's not able to do it. So Jill takes game one here. Getting that all marked down. And I'm going to switch over on my phone. I've got their, um, their games somewhere else. All right, so so Atlantis was uh, one of Jill's picks. Uh, Cody's old selection is Meteor. The other games we're going to be seeing in this group are Tron uh, from Cody for his mid, Doctor Who from Jill for her mid. Uh, let's see, Deadpool is going to be Cody's modern. And Bond is going to be Jill's modern. Jill is deadly on this Bond. Last I saw, she had the Grand Champ on uh, this particular copy. Uh, right now, we got the rig moving over to our next game. We're going to see where we're headed. So Cody stepping up first on Deadpool. Yeah, I know Cody was really going back and forth on his modern game pick uh, when I talked to him this morning. Uh, he was leaning Deadpool but wasn't sure, and glad he kind of went with his gut here. Uh, we've got a little bit of glare there. We apologize for the placement. Um, so we've got the kind of mystery right orbit on stream. Um, but it is a nice setup for those players for the most part. Um, I believe last time I played this Deadpool, I didn't really have any problems with glare. And I believe Cody's going to be getting his 30 seconds of practice right now that he's allowed. Yeah, he's just checking tilts and... Yeah. Yeah. 
And it looks like Jill's probably deferring her practice time. So Cody's just going to restart and get our game going here. And uh, so you go back and forth um, with these picks. Um, Jill, Cody, Jill, Cody, Jill, Cody. Um, and then if we get to a seventh game, our higher seed, uh, which I believe is Cody. Yeah, it is Cody. Uh, he's going to have, if we get to seven, he'd have pick of the last game, which can be any era. Um, when it is your turn to pick, you get to pick any of your pre-picked games. So we know what games they're playing. We know which order they get to pick in, but not the exact order of the games. All right. So Cody is going to be uh, kind of getting going on Deadpool and trying to, ooh, trying to get some stuff going, but isn't able to on ball one. Sometimes that is how it goes. Um, he is pretty killer on this Deadpool, though. The last time we were uh, here for Winter Slam in December, and he was lighting up the Snick target on here. I think he might have come away with Snick Champ, gotten, what did he get, seven or eight of them in a game, something like that. Um, and right now, Jill's coming up, and let's see here. Just getting the stream PC plugged in so we can keep things running for everybody here. All right, rolling right along here. So Jill got her uh, first ball locked for Ninja Multi Ball. And is going to be trying to get a battle going uh, in that Hell House scoop there. The kind of flashing white light, um, kind of left middle, right there. The thing she just hit. That's what she was going for. Hey, welcome in, Princess Saw. Yeah, yeah, these computers, they need power to run. It's crazy. I'm learning every day about how this stuff works. So... All right, we've got Jill up against Sabretooth. So for Sabretooth, you want to be hitting the uh, left and right orbit or that center spinner, um, getting progress on Sabretooth. And, ooh, that's Snicked target. So Snicked, for anybody who hasn't played a lot of Deadpool, it's a really cool little bank shot in this game where you kind of shoot it up the middle, it banks off a target, and then goes up that ramp that you kind of see at the very back of the play field there. Super, super satisfying. Uh, builds up your play field multiplier that you see flashing at 2x in the middle there. And yeah, now we got the multi ball stack taking out Sabretooth um, with little Deadpool here. And yeah, Jill's putting in the work on ball one. So, gonna be putting the pressure on Cody. Yep. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, Captain BZ in chat, definitely who you want to talk to for any uh, rules questions on any modern sterns. Um, but yeah, definitely agree. Uh, getting Disco Multiball going off of that left spinner can really, um, really put you in a good position early on with Deadpool. And yeah, picked up that battle uh, against Sabretooth. Cruising to 70 million. Went for another snick, couldn't quite make it. So she's going to be out of little Deadpool, gets in a boom button on her way out, though. And that'll do it for ball one for Jill, but great, great start. So Cody's going to step up now and start chopping some wood. Yeah, big final shot there. Ooh, ball save coming through there. It's just never a good feeling though when you're already playing from behind and feeling like the game is just against you like that early on. It can kind of get into your head. Cody's a strong player though. It can get into my head. Probably not Cody's. Digs out of that one. And all right, right into the scoop. Shaking his head a little bit. Feeling like he should have gotten this done sooner, but he's on track. And as expected, we're into Sabretooth. 
and ripping that left spinner. And yeah, it's a great combo, getting through your saber tooth and building progress uh, on your disco. Yep, yeah, and uh, as Noah here is saying, really good setup for Jill going into ball two. Oh, sadly, right as I look down, that is it for Cody. So Jill's just gotta kinda keep the ball rolling, uh, get a little bit of progress, keep that pressure on Cody. But she's in a very good spot. All right, so she's going to get uh, into T-Rex here. Um, and, yeah, so you're going to be uh, building your hurry-up value uh, with those green shots and then cashing them in at little Deadpool. Uh, this can be very, very lucrative as well. So right now you can see that hurry-up hanging around 7 million, now close to 10 million, cashes it in. And that's kind of what you want to see happening in T-Rex, just cashing in a lot of 7 to 12 million kind of... Uh, points there and ooh, we're getting into ninja multi-ball as well jill's really got it all happening right now this is exactly what you want when you're playing deadpool all okay interesting so yeah i'm always prioritizing the hurry up shot exactly yeah and it is a great pair with ninja so Ooh, keeping that one alive and yeah at this point Jill is just kind of sending it through shots and trying to occasionally uh, cash that in and yeah you can see those points just racking up and with this kind of format it can be so so big to play well on your opponent's pick um, you know obviously it gives you a huge leg up and it can really get into their head a bit Ooh, big colossal jackpot there. Getting those boom buttons in where she can. And yeah, sorry, I'm going silent sometimes here because Jill's just putting on a clinic. I mean, what is there to say? She is really killing it here. Um, yeah, wow. Getting up above 250. All right, and thank you, Mo, for the resub there. 67 months, imagine. That's 67 months. That's almost a year. We got that's five years. That's over five years. Yeah, almost, almost a year. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> uh, Jill cruising past 280 here now. Speaking of almost a year, the first round here is taking about almost a year. Yeah, it's getting there. Let's see. Let's uh, let's check in here. Let's get some. Uh, we're going to our sideline reporter here, Derek Correa. <laughs> how do you, how's how's your how's your round going so uh, far? We have not started our round yet. We are okay. on uh, we are on Bond, and there's a little bit of a uh, traffic Ooh. jam on Bond at the moment. So. Got a log jam at Bond. Yeah. I wish I, uh, you know, I, a smarter person would have come and brought you news of some of the matchups that eh. you're not watching. But yeah, we'll figure it out. Hey, you know, after I'm eliminated this round, I'll I'll try to help out a bit. Okay? Yeah. Sounds like half the matchups are just waiting for Bond, so we'll check in on those a little bit later and Jill of course while we're talking still just lighting up Deadpool gotten about 50 million since I looked let's see here taking on Juggernaut now and all right so Jill is finally done with that ball and yeah, so Cody's just got to step up and just do all that stuff, no problem. All right, so it's a lot of work to do, but Cody can do it. I have thought I was free and clear on Cody a few times, and then before you know it, uh, he's just right back in it. So he's definitely got the ability. We really don't have any slouches playing here today. Um, so comebacks are possible at any time. He's just going to get to work. We're probably going to be seeing him uh, getting into Disco and getting another battle going. Probably getting back in, and I imagine 
Probably finishing Sabretooth. We'll see what he wants to do there. Oh, yeah. Thank you there. Took my eyes off chat. Yep, this is uh, Will Parks. Um, just kind of hanging out, watching the games here with you guys. Alright, so Cody taking on Juggernaut. He's trying to hit those Deadpool targets on the left and right. And he's got a uh, little Deadpool going as well. Which is good, because... Shooting those targets can be pretty dangerous, and having the extra safety of another ball and some ball save really helps out with that. Cody getting in his boom button. All right, collecting and making progress and tr still trying to work that spinner. Let's see here, and Juggernaut is almost finished as well. Ooh, loses that little Deadpool ball, but still, still in business here. Taking a look around the room here. Right now, our uh, intrepid hero Mark is on Grand Prix right now. Not able to see how he's doing though. And Cody, there we go, getting his final shot in, doing what he needs to. Slow and steady. He knows exactly what to do here. And I've seen Cody really turn on the jets when the pressure's on before, so this could be one of those situations. Yep, getting through that left spinner. And... Alright. Apologize folks, still kind of getting a few things set up and settled in here. Apologize, yeah, we might lose a few frames here and there. Yeah, I apologize for that. I'll definitely let Mark know when he's uh, in between balls next. Really appreciate Mark uh, kind of keeping things going here as well as he can while also playing uh, in this tournament, as you can kind of see in the bracket matchup there. So, unfortunately, Cody does uh, lose it on that one. And so Jill is going to be up two games to Cody Zero and picking uh, one of her picks next. So, let's see here. We're going to switch over to our bracket camera. I'm going to figure out what they're playing, and we'll try to get things set up on their next game as soon as possible. Be right back here on Backhand Pinball on Twitch, New Hampshire State Finals.